So B, n is equals to 4. Let us study only all planes today. Next, n is equals to 5. What will happen, everybody? n is equals to 5 means I forgot it. What is the common name of butane? So butane is actually what actually? IU pack name. So if you take the common name, so common name of butane is actually not butane. It is the N butane. Note it, everyone. And what is the structural formula? Structural formula already I have drawn here. So electron dot means you can replace each bond with a, how many pair of electron? Of course, all are single bonds. So each bond has to be replaced with how many electrons? Everybody? How many electrons? One bond represents one, one pair of electron. That is what you have to remember. So N is equals to 5. N is equals to 5 means, so what is the chemical compound? C5 H12. H12. So what is the general formula? CN H2N plus 2. CN H2N plus 2. So what is the now structural formula? Tell me everybody. Carbon, carbon, carbon and carbon and carbon. So now first and last carbons. How many bonds will come? Everybody. Three bonds and two hydrogens, two hydrogens, two hydrogens. So each carbon has to satisfy how many carbon hydrogens, everybody? Of course, not hydrogens. Totally, it has to satisfy how many bonds? Each carbon oh, has to satisfy four bonds. According to that, you have to form that. Now, this is what? What is the condensed formula, everybody? Condensed formula, please. Condensed formula, CH3, CH2, 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 CH2. CH2. So this is the condensed structural formula. Condensed structural formula of what is that name? Pentane. Understand? So IU pack name. So IU pack name carbons. Five carbons are there. So what is that everybody? Five carbons means what is the suffix? Anybody? Pent plus. Pent plus. All are single bond. All are single bond means what is that everybody? Single colon bonds. What is that? Single colon bond means what is the suffix? N only. So which is equal to pentane. P E N pentane. That is what you have to remember. Okay, guys, everybody. So pen, that's what what is the suffix word root hurry? Penta pentane or P E N T, I think. Am I right? Yes. So pentane is the name of it. So what is the common name? So the common name, remember. From, from the butane, common name starts with a N. N pentane, N butane, N hexane, N heptane, like that. That is the common name. N pentane. Please stop it. What is the common name, everybody? N pentane. So, what do you mean by N, sir? See that. Butane also I written common name N butane. Ka pentane also I written common name N pentane. N indicates, please remember, normal. Normal butane, normal pentane, that is what we used to call it as a normal. N, N represents normal. That's all it is. So I hope you all understand. Anybody having any doubt, you can ask me. So like that, you can write N is equals to 6, N is equals to 7, N is equals to 8, N is equals to 9. My preferred is up to N is equals to 10. I hope you all will do it and you have to, you have to tell me also. Are you clear, everybody? Do you understand? Mr. Johan, what is going to happen if you are not doing properly? That is what will happen. Okay. Next. So now, as I said, carbon can form not only straight chain. It can form what, guys? That's what Vijay said. Basically, that's what, that basically the common name, remember Vijay, common name, we, we, we will take it based upon the source of the compounds. Okay. So, and uh, it is based purely depends upon the persons who has been discovered and who has been ma made. So, that's why there is no kind of uh, valid reason for that. Just they have been taken like that. That's all. Understand, Vijay? Yeah. So, next, the most important one is writing the IUPAC names of, understanding, nomenclature of branched hydrocarbons. That is the most important so this is the what we wanted branched chain hydrocarbons branched chain that is also 
I am going with now what? We studied only alkanes. So alkanes are called as a what? Saturated or unsaturated? Everybody. It is called as a saturated hydrocarbon. So means we used to call it as alkanes. So what is the IUPAC nomenclature for branched chain height saturated hydrocarbons? So saturated means all are present. Single bond or double bond or triple bond. Everybody. Single covalent bonds. Single covalent bonds. That is what we used to call it as a saturated. Saturated itself is indicating single covalent bond. Please remember. Now, while you are making the straight chain, doesn't matter. You can make C equals to 100 also. Directly you can name it. But when you are making the branched chains, then you have to be very careful while you are following the IUPAC name, you need to follow the certain rules. So what is that rules? And that is all we'll verify. It. So rule number one, please write it everybody. The longest chain of carbon atoms, first rule number one, the longest chain of carbon atoms carbon atoms in the structure in the structure of the compound so you should identify okay we should remember this uh, certain rules while you are man managing the like answering the iupac nomenclature of branched chains that is what the longest chain of carbon atoms in the structure of the compound is found first so that is your primary thing you need to find what is the longest straight chain carbons that is most important not branched one also so whatever it is so what is the longest chain of carbon atoms in the given compound that is the first thing you have to find it next the compound is then named as a derivative of the alkane hydrocarbon which is corresponding to the longest chain of carbons. That is what? The longest chain of carbon atoms, which we used to call it as a, please remember, parent hydrocarbon. So this is your primary duty of a branched chain. Whenever you see a branched chain, always keep it in mind, you must need to identify the parent hydrocarbon. Means, Longest carbon chain. Do you all understand what I am saying? Everybody? You have to find it what? Longest parental chain. That's what carbon chain you have to find. It. Next. Second one is the alkyl groups. You, we already studied. One hydrogen is removed from the alkanes. We used to get what groups, guys? Anybody? One hydrogen is removed from the Alkyl, alkanes, we'll get alkyl groups. So, you have to find alkyl groups present in the chains. The alkyl groups present, present in the chains. Identify, identify alkyl groups present in the chains. So, what is the example of alkyl groups? I said 10th class, only one alkyl group will come. Anybody? Only one for 10th class. Anybody? Methyl group. Methyl group. Very good. What is the formula of methyl group, Amma? CH3 and this bar. Bond. Indicating. What is that indicating? I already taught you. Of course, I can represent with R also. What does that mean? Anybody? One is removed. Yes. One valency of carbon is still left. Ethyl. What do you mean by the ethyl? Ethane to C2H5 bar. That is what one hydrogen is removed from the alkanes. We will get the methyl groups. So you have to identify these methyl groups or ethyl groups or simply we can say alka, alkyl group in the given structure. Next point number three. You can see all of you the carbon atoms of the longest carbon chain. I will get it. So you write this point when we are making it, you will understand it. So please make it. The carbon atoms, the carbon atoms 
of the longest carbon carbon chain are numbered numbered in such a way that in such a way that the alkyl group the alkyl groups get the get the lowest man unless you practice this it is impossible to answer this lowest possible number lowest possible number that is what you have to remember it lowest possible number so once i will teach the one or two structures then you will understand it you no need to worry about it just remember this next next point number 4 the position of alkyl group the position of alkyl group alkyl group is indicated indicated by writing the writing the writing the number of carbon atom number of carbon atom to which it is attached to which it is attached okay and the last point the iupac name of the compound the iupac name of the compound is obtained is obtained by writing the by writing the position hurry those who are option everything just take it away position and name of alkyl group alkyl group just before the name of just before the name of parent hydrocarbon mr vijay you asked one question to me sir why sir only n n is the n is started from the butane am i right vijay n is started from the butane mr swadhan you don't have any number or is the simply you join it so Yes, Mr. Vijay, you asked me that why n is n n butane, n pentane, n hexane like that. We will call only from the butane. Am I right, Mr. Vijay? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. So because of reason is, all of you note it. The most important thing: no branched chain carbons or hydrocarbons will form. n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 no branched chain hydrocarbons please note it no branched chain hydrocarbons for what everybody what hydrocarbons they are alkanes saturated hydrocarbons saturated hydrocarbons n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 no branched chain hydrocarbons will form do you understand everybody speak guys mr swadhan you also can leave from the meeting n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 no branched chain hydrocarbons will form so branched chain will form only from n is equals to what guys everybody n number of carbons from where everyone n is equals to 4 that is why we will say so n is equals to 4 can you tell me what is the first straight chain straight chain what is the formula first alkanes there what is the formula n h2n plus 2 so what is the number of yeah what is the formula of n is equals to 4 c4h10 c4h10 now first what is the straight chain amma everybody what is the name of the straight chain all of you name of the straight chain name of the straight chain all of you 
name of the straight chain water horrible rade this is today only i am just now i am teaching you name of the straight chain of n is equals to 4 what is that butane so hydrogen 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 each carbon has to satisfy four bonds if you are not practicing this definitely you are not going to make anything in the board exam again i am saying the most important concept is this only so now we all know n is equals to 4 means but plus suffix is n because all are single bond what is the iupac name everybody butane am i right or wrong? iupac name is butane and what is the common name all of you what n is butane n butane n butane so now this is a straight chain a branched chain a everybody it is the straight chain butane okay so now if you have taken branched chain as i said n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 no branched chain hydrocarbons will form only n is equals to where it will start guys all of you n is equals to 4 clear everybody understand ra so now what is n is equals to 4 all of you see that so the formula is remains same i will draw the structure branched chain remember three carbons are in main chain and one carbon is in branched chain all of you remember no no branch will attach no branch will attach first and last carbon note it everybody no branch will attach first and last carbon so officially c c c c four carbon now this bond i am taking and i am attaching to the middle carbon because remaining only three carbons now number of hydrogens will come on. everybody tell me one after one a hey, mute yourself ra what is this disturbance hey, Swadhan, can you hear me boy i'm calling you mute everybody so now what is the number of hydrogens on first carbon can you tell me everybody Number of hydrogens for first carbon. Three. Speak guys. Three. Second carbon. Already three bonds are filled. Then how many will come? One. One. Very good. Last carbon. How many will come? Three. Three. Very good. And down. The branched one. Branched one also. How many will come? How many three. will come? Three only. Clear? All of you. So, this is what is a branched structure. So, can you tell me this one condensed structural formula? Everybody, condensed structural formula. Same, I can write CH3 CH branch that is what CH, CH3 and the branched chain of what CH3. Am I right or wrong? Everybody, yes, all of you. That is what. So now, if you notice it, including this branch, this is call it as a something. Anybody can tell? Just now I have taught you. CH3 bond, one carbon is unreacted. That's what branch chain. We used to call something. Anybody? Methyl group. Methyl group. In that, actually, it is alkyl group. In that, particularly, what is the name of this one? Methyl. What is to call? Methyl. Okay. Now, first, what is the first point? All of you read the first point identify the longest carbon atoms what is the longest carbon atoms in this identify everybody what is the longest carbon atoms make it quick everyone one two three how many longest everyone three. longest carbons one two three how many carbons longest chain make three it carbon. uh, three are there three means what is the word ama word root Three means what is the word root? Everybody. Propane. Propane. Okay. Very good. So, propane. That is the word root. I already identified. Propane. Three is the longest one. So, that is why propane. Now, branch chain. Next, I said, identify the, identify the alkyl group. What is the alkyl group present? What is the alkyl group present? Yeah. Methyl. Methyl. So, methyl. Next one, for which carbon it is attached, that is what. And I said third point, all of you read the third point. 
the position of alkyl group is indicated by writing the number of carbon atom to which it is attached. But that number has to come as lowest possible number. That branched carbon has to get the lowest possible number. That is what you have to carry. It. So if three carbons are there in the main chain, whatever the direction I will answer, the branched carbon will get the same number. If I go with the left to right or right to left, the branched carbon will get carbon number equals to how much, guys? Everybody? Carbon no. number is what? I love you. Two only. So that is what it is that two we have to represent. So what is the IUPAC name of this one? Everybody? Two methyl. Two methyl propane. So if I go with the left to right or right to left also, right to left, always keep it in mind, the branched chain should get the lowest possible number. If I go to the left to right or right to left, the second carbon branched chain, what is the number of branched chain? Everybody. What is the number of branched chain? All of you. Two only. So... 2-methylpropane. 2-methylpropane, we can call it as a what? Everybody. 2-methylpropane, we used to call it as a what? Please respond. Butane. That is what? C4H10. Same chemical formula, but different structures and different properties, which we used to call something. Anybody can tell? Isomers. Isomers. Okay. This is what? Now, See, n is equals to 4 means you might be get confused. But n is equals to 5, 100% you will never get confused. So let us start with n is equals to 5. So this is what is our last one. So n is equals to 5 means what is the formula? Alka saturated only. So saturated means what is the general formula? Saturated hydrocarbons. Alkanes. Yes, alkanes. So what will happen, everybody? Cn H2n plus. So what is that? N is equals to five means everybody. C5 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 H12. This much clearly I'm saying. If you are not doing again, you cannot be anything. Okay. I hope I think Swadhan is sleeping. I understand it. So now write it straight chain. Emma. first straight chain. That is very important. Everybody draw straight chain. I won't speak. So straight chain means I think. So what is the first carbon? How many bonds? All of you? Second carbon, two hydrogens. Third carbon, three, two. And last carbon again, how many hydrogens? Three hydrogens. Three. Okay. So this is what is actually. Keep it in mind. And one more thing I want to say you. Branched chain, minimum number of carbons in the longest chain. How many? <laughs> Minimum number has to be three. Do you understand, Amma? In a branched chain, what is the minimum number of longest longest chain? Everybody, n must be three. Note that word, everybody. So now this is what is. What is the IUPAC name of this one? Straight chain, everybody. What is the IUPAC name of this straight chain? All of you, make it quick. Yes, pentane. Pentane. Okay. And what is the common name? Yen. What is the common name? Everybody. N pente. Okay. Now, branched chains. Very, very important. So, first, you, you draw the skeleton of carbon. So, skeleton of carbon chain. What is the skeleton of carbon chain, all of you? That alone you take it. What is the skeleton of carbon chain? Five carbons. How many carbons? Five carbons. Now, I will cut this carbon and I will attach it to this one. As I said, please remember, first and last carbon cannot be. So I will make it four carbons in the main chain and the second carbon I will attach to the fifth carbon. Any problem for anybody? Do you understand, Amma? Mithakshri? Clear? Yes? yes sir. Now, what is the first carbon? Fill the number of hydrogens now. Verify it. First carbon, what is the number of hydrogens? Three. Okay. Next. Second carbon, what is the number of hydrogen? One. One. Third carbon, what is the number of hydrogen? Two. Two. Third carbon, what is the number of hydrogen? Three. Fourth carbon, three. three. And branched one. 
Branch one also what? Three. Yeah, that is. Now, primary duty. Identify the longest chain. What is the longest chain here? Or else write condensed formula also. Condensed formula. What is the condensed formula? CH3, CH2, CH3. Down again CH3. So somebody having a doubt in mind. Sir, why can't I put this branch for this carbon? Third, you can put. Nothing wrong in that. Okay. But this is the more standard structure. Standard structure is this one. So that is why we will use this one. So okay. Now this is the first one. So what is the longest chain? How many carbons are there in the longest chain? Point number one. How many? Oh, how many yeah. are there? Longest. Oh. But Four are there. Four there means what is that? Call it as. Make it quick. All of you. Butane. Okay. Next. What is the what is the alkyl group present here? What is the alkyl group methyl. present here? Methyl. Everybody, make it quick. Methyl. methyl, methyl. Next, that alkyl group has to get the lowest possible number. So which is right, left to right or mm. right to left? Which is has to be get? Everybody, left to right, left to right or right to left? Everyone, left to right, left to right, left to right. Left to right. See that. I, I will give here left to right. That is what? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is correct. If I give here 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now branch chain got how much? 3 got. So this is right or wrong? It is wrong. Uh -huh. so always it will get lowest one. Lowest possible number. That is what you have to remember. Are you clear everybody? All of you? So what is the carbon number? What is the carbon two. number? All of you. Two. So two methyl butane is the pentane name. So pentane also we can say two methyl butane. Any problem for anybody? All of you. Three. So two methyl butane. This is a what actually? IU pack name. So then what about the common name of this one? So there is a common name of this one, which we used to call it as isopentane. Please learn it, everybody. What is the common name of this 2-methylbutane, everybody? Isopentane. Isopentane. Okay, everyone. Understand, Amma? Everybody? Please respond. Isopentane. Clear? All of you? Yes. Same C5H12. As I said, in a branched chain, minimum number, how many will be? Minimum number of carbons, how many? Longest. Branch three. chain, three. three. Less than three, you should not be. So now, instead of five, five carbons are there. I am taking three carbons. Three carbons as a main chain. And two carbons is attached. I said first and last, you should not attach. So that I will attach both to the what? Middle carbon. Do you understand everybody? All of you able to understand? So C, C, C and two branches it is there. Now, number of hydrogens fill everybody. What is the first carbon number of hydrogens? Make it quick. How many hydrogens? Three, hydrogen. Three hydrogens. Next. Second carbon, any possibility? No, sir. Already no. over. Third carbon, again, three hydrogens. Three hydrogens. Three. This carbon also, how many hydrogens? Three hydrogens. Three. This carbon also, how many hydrogens? Three hydrogens. Three hydrogens. Okay. So now if you notice it, what will happen everybody? First, longest carbon chain. What is the longest carbon chain? All of you. Longest okay. carbon chain. How much? Propane. Am I right or wrong, Ma? Longest carbon. That is what we used to say. Parental hydrocarbon. Parent yes. hydrocarbon. So, what is the parent hydrocarbon, everybody? Three are there. N is equals to three means what is the what is that, guys? Propane. Is, means it Propane. Is, yeah. Propane. Next, identify the methyl groups. Sorry, alkyl groups. How many alkyl methyl. groups? What is that alkyl group name? Methyl. Okay. Methyl. And that branch chain has to get lowest possible number. You can go left to right or right to left. If three is the maximum number. Sorry, minimum number in the branch chain. Left to right or right to left? Both are same. Am I right or wrong? All of you? Yes, please. Yes or no?
Yes. yes sir. So one, two, and three. So one but two branches are present at the second carbon itself. That is why it will come two comma two. And how many methyl groups? One or two are. One or two. Two are present. Mm -hmm. That is why it is called it as a dimethyl. Please note it. Two comma two dimethyl. One methyl is there, just methyl. Two methyls are there. We should make dimethyl. Three are there, trimethyl. So it is dimethyl propane. What is the name, everybody? Are you pack name? Dimethyl, dimethyl propane. And the common name, common name is neopentane. What is to call everybody? Neopentane. Clear, all of you? Understand, Ra, Harish? So, now if you take it, pentane. So, in exam, what is the possibility of their asking? Pentane also call it as a what? All of you. Two methyl, two methyl what? Butane. Butane. Next one. Two comma two mm. dimethyl, dimethyl propane. propane. Anything they can ask, but always keep it in mind. They will ask the one. This only. These names only very, very important. And two methyl butane, we used to call it as a what? Isopentane. And two comma two dimethyl propane, we used to call it as a what? Everybody. Neo. Neo okay. This is just one example. You can form. Now, till 7 o'clock, I will give you the time. So, like that, you can form. Of course, it's not required now. I will teach you. Isomers time, I will teach you. Don't worry now. So, till here, kindly practice it. Whatever you learn, let me... I hope you all understand uh, everything clearly, how to form it. Everybody, anybody having a doubt, you can ask me. So, you need to know how to form, write the branched chain, names of a branched chain. Very, 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 very important concepts. Writing a names of a branched chain is the most important thing out of all the concepts. So, please remember and practice it. Do you all understand everybody? Every point has to be considered when we are writing the branched chain. Okay. So, with this, I will stop and we will continue from here. Then tomorrow we will make it names, naming of nomenclature of all kings and branch, all kinds and as well as branch chain, how the naming and what is the isomerism. That is also we will discuss it. Okay, everybody. So with this, I will stop and we will continue from here in the tomorrow's class. Thank you, everybody. We will meet in tomorrow's class.